I hold in my hand the last piece of metal roof. Done. Are you guys ready to go outside? This is their very first time outside and the first time the guineas and chicks have ever seen each other. Wow, new birds. Who's that? Look at that new birds. They don't hurt each other. Get cute. <laughs> okay, so they can crawl into that. We quickly fixed that problem by adding some hardware cloth around the bottom of the kennel. After seeing how much they like rolling in the dirt, I decided to go get some dirt and let them have some fun in their brooder. What is this? Look at that! Oh my goodness, what is that? There's two of them! What the heck? Look at that! You want a bath? Who wants a bath? <laughs> Someone just kicked like a quarter of it out. One of your knuckleheads is going to figure out the other one's the same thing. He's helping me with another one of my crazy stupid projects. Project. Hey, it's not stupid, it's gonna be awesome. I'm making a giant playpen for the chickens and guineas so I can come out here with them in the morning and they can run all around in this spot. So he's trying to help me figure out how to, how to hold this fencing up. Finally got it figured out. We had to put this big rock on here because it's stretched so tight that it, this kennel wants to slide in, so put the rock on there. And have it like zip tied to the trees and everything in the ladder. So I'm going to go get them and let them have some playtime. You're gonna love it, I promise. You're gonna love it. All right. Hey. Okay. Are you ready? Is it on my knee? 
can jump. Can you jump? Jump! What are you doing? Come see me. He found some dirt. After all that work getting this play area set up, it only lasted a few days because the guineas quickly learned how to fly out. So we had to come up with another idea. We got out the big dog kennel, put an easy up in it, and lined it with chicken wire, added a few perches and things, and it's working pretty well. Now every morning I use the original brooder boxes to carry the birds out to spend the day in it, and every evening I haul everybody back to the shop to sleep in their cardboard brooder boxes. It's a lot of work. But I think it's worth it, otherwise they'd be cooped up in the shop all day and it's getting too hot for that. So I'm in ooh, the big playpen with everybody. And they're just jumping around. I'm just checking everything out. Hi there. Hey, look at this. Hi! Oh my goodness! Fluffy bird! They don't like to be manhandled. No. And the problem is, look, there's babies in here they're getting big. And at some point, they're going to be too hard to get with one hand. Uh oh. Yikes! That was scary! Coco Puff. She's so small. She's so small. Yes. Tiny baby. Okay, I found out how well these guineas can fly. I was putting them, transferring them in from here to here so I could take them outside and I turned my back for just a minute and four of them flew out and I didn't know where they were. I thought they had gone out the garage door. So I actually found one was crawling between here. I blocked it off, caught that one. Oh, there it is. Hi there, you little monster. That's the chicken cage, that's not yours try to catch them. Those are chickens. Those aren't your brothers. Oh my god. I don't know if I can catch him. Hi, Guinea. Nope. <laughs> that didn't work. Come on, baby. Hi. Those are chickens. Those are chickens. 
Those are chickens, not guineas. I got you. Got him. seven back in there. That was not fun. Catching the birds one by one to carry them outside and back has been getting harder every day. They're getting bigger and harder to catch, especially the guineas. So Mark had this idea to cut an opening in the side of the box so the birds can walk into the container instead. We used this piece of the lid that I cut out to use as a door for the opening. Fitting in between those two things? Yeah, just so it doesn't slide around. Right. So how do we attach it? Will the lid hold it there? Is that what you're That's thinking? What I'm saying. All right. The lid should just hold it there. All right, we'll go so get it and let's see. Oh, okay. That's a fail. That's a fail. What about Velcro? Nice. Hopefully it'll be a little less stressful for everybody. I'm gonna put food in it and see if they'll walk through the door and then I can trap them. Six. So go ahead and close it, set the trap, and then just hand load the other ones in there, I guess. They like the other Uber.
not doing it right. <laughs> Guys, you're supposed to go inside. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Four. Yay, oh my gosh. Come on, babies. They're all in. Yeah, close it up. Okay. You're okay. It's okay. You're fine. There, you're fine. Once the coop is done, I won't have to do this anymore. I look forward to that day. <laughs>